Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can pay the admission fee for the first semester under different departments in Nagaland University. So without wasting any time, let's get started with the video. So in order to pay the admission fee for the first semester under different departments, the link is attached in the video description. Once you click on the link, it will take you to this window. Here you need to click on the checkbox and then you need to proceed by clicking on this step. So once you click on the proceed, it will take you to this window. Here you need to select Naglen or type Naglen and then you need to select educational institutions. After that you need to click on go. And then it will take you to the educational institutions name. Here you need to write Naglen University. So you need to select Naglen University and then you need to submit. And then here you need to select the payment category. If you are from MA, MCOM, PG Diploma, CNTLS or Hindi, you need to select this one. If you are from MSc Agree, you need to select this one. If you are from MH, you need to select this one. And if you are from MSc or MA Psychology, you need to select this one. If you are from MBA, you need to select this one. So I'll be showing you for the first semester MA, MCOM, PG Diploma and Hindi. So you need to click on this one. Once you click on that tab, it will take you to this window. So here you need to enter your name, your department where you have taken admission, your registration number, semester fee which is already fixed, ID card fee, it's already fixed and then for the transportation fee, make sure that if you are applying for hostel, then you need to select 660 or if you are day scholar, you need to select 1650. It includes both Lumami and Kohima campus. So based on the selection that you have done, either hosteler or day scholar, you need to select on this transportation fee. And then you need to enter your name, date of birth, mobile number, email ID, and the text that you can see on this screen. After entering all the details, you need to click on submit button. Likewise for the MSc students and MS Psychology, you need to select on the first semester MSc or MSc Psychology and then you need to enter your name and other details that you can see on the screen followed by the first semester MBA student and it also follows for the first semester LLM students followed by the MS students and then the first semester MSc Agree student. So these procedures are almost similar for all the candidates who have taken admission in Naglin University. So for example, I have already entered the details. So firstly, you need to enter your name. For the department, you need to mention MS Sociology. So based on the department where you have taken admission, you need to mention your department name. And for the course, you need to select MA for MS students. For MCOM students, you need to select MCOM. For PG Diploma, you can mention the department name and it follows for MSc students you need to write MSc and also for other departments you need to follow the same procedure one important note I want to clear that do not use full stop while writing your course or department so after entering all your details you need to click on submit so once you click on submit it will take you to this window here you can see the details that you have entered for the admission so after that you need to click on confirm so once you click on confirm, it will take you to this payment system where you can do the payment process either through SBI ATM card or other bank's credit card followed by UPI. So those who are convenient with UPI, you can select on this part and then you can do the payment process. So for the timing, I'll be selecting SBI ATM come debit card. Here you need to enter your card number, expiry date, card holder's name, CVV characters for this particular section it's not mandatory that you need to enter your own card number you can use anyone's card number and do the payment process except for the details that you have entered which should be your own personal details and kindly make sure that you have taken the note of the tracking id in case the payment process get cancelled you can reapply using your tracking id and other details so after entering all your details you need to click on pay and then you'll get one otp on your registered mobile number you need to enter the otp so once you enter the OTP, your payment process will get completed. So then you need to download the receipt. On that receipt, all the information that you have entered during the payment process, it will present there. So after downloading that receipt, you need to make the Xerox copy of that admission receipt and then you need to submit along with your other documents during the time of verification. So this is the information that I would like to provide in this video. With this, I want to end my video.